Right, hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube video, vlog or vlog or whatever you want to call it. Uh, my name's Aaron and I'm a carp angler from Northern Ireland. Now, this is something I've been thinking about doing for a little while now. Um, and although I live in Northern Ireland, I actually travel a lot to the mainland and fish on Guy Syndicate, which is over in Oxford. Um, on the ticket, there's three lakes and all three lakes are home to some very big carp. Uh, and that's mainly where these videos will be. So the session you're about to see, I start off on guys and syndicate before venturing off to another water, which is a day ticket called Stand Lake Lagoon Fishery. It's a lovely place before returning back to guys. And I just record the whole thing as it happens. Now I'm by far no videographer um, and I'm recording this all on my phone, but it shows basically what I do, what I try to do. and the, it, obviously the fish that I've caught along the way and um, so without further ado go put the kettle on grab yourself a tea a coffee a beer or something stronger if that's what you like and I hope you enjoy the video What a nice way to start the video off, 24 and a half. So now I've got a coffee in my hand, I'll tell you a little bit more about where we are. So I'm on Guy Syndicate, uh, which is part of Linear Fisheries, and there's three lakes on the ticket. You've got Yeomans is the first one you come to, Unity, and then where we are now, which is Gaunt's Lake. I've dropped on the Gaunt's because it's a bit quieter on here, which is surprising. Uh, usually this is the busier one of the three because of the fish that it holds. Uh, but I'll spin you around a wee second and you can have a look of what I've got from me. The swim I decided to start with is the pallet. So looking at my right and middle rod, they're fished at 13 wraps just out in open water and my left rod is a little bit shorter at 10 wraps. Uh, whenever I arrived yesterday and had a lead about, it was quite clear there was a lot of weed about. Um, so it took me a little bit of time to find a couple of areas I can present my rings on. Now my right hand and middle rod, I actually made a change to them this morning and put solid bags out. The uh, reason for doing that is I believe in fishing on a little bit of low land weed. It's not exactly clear. so. You can still percent on it, but just for peace of mind, I've put a couple of solid bags out there. Well, after that one this morning, it's all gone a bit quiet. I really did think I was going to get a second bite off that rod. Soon after repositioning it and putting a few spots over the top, I had, did have a few liners. But for whatever reason, nothing came about from it. Um, my dad down the opposite end of the lake, he's had a couple. He's had a 34 and a 23. And so far up this end, all I've seen is one fish show in the swim next door. And I've seen one show right in front of me. But other than that, there hasn't really been a great deal to go on. Um, so I think my plan for tonight will be to stay where I am. And if I don't have anything tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll definitely be considering a move. Just seen another one show out there, which is a good sign. And they're starting to fizz up a little bit too. Um, they are about four or five rod lengths past me. So hopefully it's only a matter of time before they move on to me and we'll pick something up. I did receive a liner on the middle rod, but I'm starting to think whether it was peg or not. You do get a lot of them moving up and down the margins here. Uh, but at least we're seeing signs of fish out there, so hopefully next time you see me I'll have another one to shoot. Check the hook point on that. Happy days. I'm just getting a couple of solid bags ready to go back out. I'm going to redo my right hand and middle rod just so that they've got a bit of fresh pellet down there. And I'm going to drop a couple of spots over the top. 
What I'm putting in my solid bags is I'm going to put one on a bug wafter and one on the crayfish wafter from DNA Bits. Inside the bag I'm going to have some of the insect meal and then the crayfish mini mix pellet. There we go, one solid bag ready to go. So I've got the insect meal at the bottom, that's just to protect the hook point, and then the rest is just filled up with the crayfish mini mix pellet. That's two. That's three. Quiet night last night unfortunately, so I've packed all my kit up and came down the opposite end of the lake. I'm in a swim called the Stump. did see quite a few fish out here this morning and a lot of fizzers, so I've just dropped a single rod on them for now. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a few hours, wait till later on in the afternoon before I start getting a little bit of bait out there. After putting that single rod out earlier on those fizzers, I wound that in after a couple of hours and headed for a much needed shower. Popped around to the shop to get some food for the next couple of days. And whenever I came back, I just took my time. Uh, the rods are now out for the evening. I've dropped a little bit of bait over the both areas. So I haven't put much out, to be honest. Looking at what's going on around the lake, not a lot has happened. So I'd rather ease my way into it than fill it in and ruin it all together. Slate carp definitely haven't read the script. It's just gone quiet again. Uh, moved down into here yesterday because there was a lot of fish. And this morning there's nothing. Uh, so because of the trees, I've just put the waders on to get in the water a little bit just to see up the top end of the lake. I haven't seen anything show up there either. I really don't know what to do. It's just gone very moody. There's been five fish out that I've known of since I've been here. I've had one. I fell in the top end, had one, and my dad's had three. But apart from that, it's been quiet. So I think my choices will be to stay here, sit on this for the last couple of nights, or move on to one of the other lakes. Um, I am going to Stan Lake Lagoon for a couple of nights after this. And then I'm coming back here for five nights. But if this one's so moody, and I might drop on to Unity or Yeomans. The only thing is that there's a couple of fish in here we like to have. It's still due out. The Albert's been out about this time last year. It's a mid-50. Uh, it'd be nice to have that one. but And I'm in the right area for it. This is the zone that it seems to come out of quite a lot. It's just hard to know what to do. Do you sit in your hands or do you move and just go? Still time to turn it around, so we'll keep trying anyway. Oh, come on, you bastards, where are you? That was a fish. Which is in the same line my left hand rod's on, just a bit further past it. And a bit of fizzing coming up over the top. So there's a fish still here. But 
but they definitely aren't here in the numbers they were yesterday. Well, it's the early hours of the morning. We've just had fish number two. If she behaves. 27.6. Taking on a solid bag of the crayfish mini mix and a bug wafter. Let's get you back. Just going first light and I've had fish number three. Um, it's nothing massive, just a little bit over 20 pound. I uh, had lost one before this, unfortunately. It's a lovely fish, all the same. Same again, just solid bags, crayfish mini mix with a little bug off there. Lovely. If it looks like I'm tired, it's probably because I am. I didn't get any sleep last night at all. I managed to pick a couple of fish off and drop one, unfortunately. Uh, so I did make one change in my solid bags. I did add something else to them, but I'll show you that a little bit later on. Uh, def whether that's what made the difference or not, I'm not sure, but it definitely didn't hurt. Uh, the rods are back out now. I did have a little bit of a nightmare this morning. Managed to get the rods back out while I was photographing that other fish. Swan came in and wiped everything out as I do. So the rods are now back out and I've got the kettle on. So I'm just going to sit back with coffee and watch the water for a bit. Fingers crossed we'll get another one in the daylight. How about that for a gaunt slate carp? Mid 20, what a lovely fish. Now that I've had a few fish, I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about the bait that I've been using in this session. So at the start of the video, I mentioned the insect meal from DNA. Uh, what I've been doing with this stuff is I've been putting it into a little half pint, pint container and adding some of the calmness liquid to it. Once I've added the calmness liquid to the insect meal, I let that soak in for about 10 to 15 minutes. It really does soak up the liquid. And it's, it's just to put in the bottom of the bags to protect the hook point, as well as that added attraction you get from the insect meal and the calmness liquid. The last change I made was instead of spotting over the areas, I've been using a throwing stick and spreading some of the 15 mil bug and SLK bolies over the top. Um, I've been spreading them out quite a bit as well, and the last fish was passing a lot of boilie on the mat, so it definitely seems to be working. Well, I was just getting my first sip of coffee when the right hand rod busted off. Looks like a good fish too. Did weed me up a little bit but managed to get it out, weed and all. But, uh, there is a fish in there somewhere. Fish number 5 and it's an absolute minter. It's a bit bigger this one at 35.4. But what a carp. Absolutely lovely. Yes. After that lovely mid-30 this morning, I wound the rods in around 1 o'clock just to rest the swim for a while. Uh, it's paid off for me in the past, that's what's definitely worth doing. Rods are not long back out there, and the first bite last night came around 2.30 in the morning, so I'm hoping for a repeat tonight. Um, and then I'm off early in the morning. I have to go to another venue for a couple of nights before returning back to guys. Good morning. Didn't have any more last night. Um, absolutely tipped it down as well, so I'm not going to complain too much about that. 
So this morning I've already started packing up, uh, heading over to Stan Lake Lagoon for a couple of nights before returning back to the Syndicate. So <sighs> these last few days have been real, they've been tough. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do when I come back and whether I drop onto one of the other lakes. It's that's just typical gods, it's just moody. Um, sometimes you think you've worked something out, you've got yourself something going and then in the, within 24 hours it's all changed again. But I suppose that's just fishing. Uh, so next time you see me I'll be over on Stanley. Well, good morning from Stan Lake again. Just put my first fish back. It was a lovely little low double common. I uh, just unhooked it on the net and sent it on its way. Uh, the lake at the side of the fish is King Fisher, and it's the second time I've been on this venue. The fish in here are stunning. Uh, the, fen the lake itself is lovely. Uh, it's very well run. It's immaculate. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the next day or two. As you've probably just seen, I just had my second fish from Kingfisher Lake. It was a lovely little common, it was a proper little character too. It was completely blind on both sides. You can probably see the rod just over my shoulder there. I actually haven't put that rod back out, just on the chance I can get another quick bite. I've got three rods on the spot, so quite often when you're fishing tight like that, you can pick up a second fish fairly quickly. Well, it's just getting on for midnight and the right hand rod's absolutely melted off just as I was going to sleep uh, with this lovely fish. 2612 taking on a bug match of hatch wafter over a scattering of 15mm SLK and bug bodies. <laughs> Going to get the pictures done and we'll get her back. Happy day. Well, it must be getting on for about 7 o'clock as the light's starting to fade and we're back on, guys. I did pull off Stan Lake Lagoon this morning. Um, after I had that 26 last night, or early hours of the morning, should I say, I did have a couple of others, but my battery had died, the power pack was in the fan, so I didn't get a chance to capture any of that. But we're now back on Gaunt's. So I did speak to a few people that were on over the weekend, and everybody had said they'd been fishing tough, but I think I'm going to take a chance with it just because there's so many big fish in here and it really only takes one bite. Uh, to have a fish of a lifetime. And I say the Albert could potentially be £60 at the minute, so I'm going to try my best to sit in my hands just because if one bite really can't change everything on this place. But we'll see how tonight goes. Uh, all three rods are out. I've got two on solid bags and I haven't put any free bait over them at all. And I've got one on a bug wafter, just with scattering a boilie over the top, not much, maybe about 50 baits or so. But I'm just going to ease my way into it and just fish for a bite at the time. I've absolutely no idea what time it is, but the left rod has went. It was the one on the 15 mil bug wafter over a scar and a boilie. 25 12. 
absolutely lovely fish. Happy with that, just going to repeat the same thing um, and see if we can make another one. This is our alarm call this morning. Uh, just a little bit over twenty-three pound and came on the right hand rod on the solid bag. Well, good morning and welcome back, to guys. So as you've already seen at this point, I've had a couple of fish and I'm really happy to be off the mark. Uh, especially with last week's session was so tough. Tactics wise, I'm going in my solid bags. That's what worked last week. We're on here. I uh, say the only difference is I'm targeting the soft areas um, and avoiding the gravel altogether. I've got two rods on solids and my left hand rod's actually on a helicopter system with a pop up. I think I did mention last night that I caught a fish on it. Well, after it wasn't, it was a pop up. And that was the one that's over a scatter and a boiler. It's the only one that's receiving any bait. And when I say a scattering, it is a scattering. It's like a handful or two of bait at the most, and that's it. And um, the middle rod's the only rod that hasn't produced anything yet. And it is. Although I said I'm avoiding the gravel, which is true, that one is on a slightly firmer area. Uh, but it hasn't produced anything, but the two in the softer stuff has. So if that rod doesn't do anything in the next 24 hours, I'll probably potentially be looking to change on that one. Well, no sooner than I put the camera away, the left hand rod goes. Well, I couldn't attend that one any better. I was just sat in the bivvy thinking I should put my waterproofs on just in case the rod goes. No sooner than the jack was sipped off, up the left hand rod went with another mid 20. Again, this one came to the bug pop up over a scatter and a boiler. That's the one. That was a rough night last night, uh, you would have seen already, but there was a bit of thunder and lightning. And shortly after that, there was a big wind that came through, and there was branches and a few things coming off the trees. Um, and about 11 o'clock, middle rod goes. Unfortunately, I lost it. Uh, it came, lost it due to, it just got cut off, basically. Uh, it weighted me up a few times. I managed to get it moving again, and I fancy the, the fluoro leader part of it. Uh, I fish with braided main lines, so about 20 foot off 20 pound fluoro, and I got cut off on that unfortunately. But I've seen a few fish this morning, they are showing short, and I've got a rod, my right hand rod, it's probably the closest one to them at the minute. They say I've had a bite in all three rods, so I'm confident in where I'm fishing. Um, I don't think there's much more I can do to be honest. It's clear that the fish are in the weed, they're on the naturals, you can see them sheeting up and fizzing on it. And so there's not really isn't much more I can do. So I've been averaging a bite or two a day, so I'll take that on here, especially considering that you could have three bites and everything could be over thirty. Um so I'm just gonna stick the cattle on. 
have a coffee and just watch the water for a bit. Well, good morning. What a lovely fish that was. Cracking fully scaled. Really pleased with that one. Um, again, just on simple solid bag tactics. My right hand rod, I'm surprised that one hasn't went. There's been a bit of fizzing up over that one this morning and a couple of decent fish showed on it as well. So I'm hoping that will be the next one to go. It's been proper tough and frustrating session. And I said before, I really don't think there's much more I can do. They're clearly in the weed and they're on the naturals. And I think it's hard to compete with that at times, especially at this time of year. But we'll just keep doing what we're doing. And say if we keep picking off a fish or two a day, uh, you really don't know what the next bite could be. It could be anything from another mid-20 or it could be a 30 or 40 or even bigger, who knows. But we'll keep trying anyway. I'm going to knock up another bit of the dry insect meal with the calmness liquid. One thing I will say about this stuff is it absolutely stinks and I found out the hard way. It somehow found its way into my clothes bag and now everything absolutely stinks of it. And I was getting some funny looks in the shop the other day, but I'm saying go and knock another bit of that up now and I'll just Now the insect meal is prepared and ready to go, I'm going to set up a solid bag just to redo one of the rods. It's been out there since mid-afternoon yesterday, so I'm just going to freshen up a little bit. I fish it my all my solid bags drop off in line style just because of the weight. Uh, but one thing I like to do, I actually squeeze down the eye of the swivel a little bit just so it comes out really easy. So I'm just going to do that now. I always wet everything down just to make sure it comes off as it should. So the leader is just running around the outside of the lead, it doesn't run through it, it just means whenever a fish picks it up, um, what happens is that. Hook bait choice is just going to be uh, the bug wafter, these are the dumbbells, you get two sizes in them and I'm going to pick one of the smaller ones out. I also like the Pierce solid bags in a few different places.
just helps get the air out. <laughs> so next is just to place the hook bit into the bag. I'll push the hook bit into one corner. So I'm not sure if you can see that. So I've got the hook point down and the bit pushed into one corner. So next I'm going to take some of the insect meal and just place it over the hook bit. I'm going to take a scoop off the crayfish mini mix pellet and place it in next. And now I'm just going to fill the rest of the bag up. A little bit more pellet. Um, so at this point I'm going to add the colonist liquid. And then I'm going to continue with more, more pellet. Once the bag's probably, it's probably a little bit more than three quarters filled, I'm going to start compacting it down now. And then I like to tie mine off. And then trim off the excess. Last thing to do is just to do the corners. Again, just lick and stick them. There we go, one solid bag ready to go. Uh, so you can see the colonist liquid in there and the pellet. Got your insect meal in the bottom, that protects the hook point as well as the added attraction you get from it. Just need to get it out there now. Managed to pick another one up in the solid bag. Check him out. Scales like apple slices. Rod's already back out there, so fingers crossed we'll nab another one. Not gonna lie, I'm absolutely gutted this morning. Received the bite around first light like I do most mornings, but unfortunately suffered a hook pull. I ended up redoing the rod and I got back into the bag and just had a little bit of a sulk to myself. Now the left hand rod, it was the one on the heli system with the pop up. It hasn't done anything for about two days. So I've repositioned it on the same area my middle rod's on. Uh, it's the one that's done the most bites at the minute. And again, I've changed that to a solid bag. The only difference is I've been catching on little match the hatch wafters and I've changed that to a pink one just to see if it makes a difference or not. Oh, definitely need that coffee this morning. Breakfast on as well. Just having a little look out in front of me. One fish did just show. Uh, I did kind of feel like this morning they weren't here the way they were yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning they were showing quite a bit around first light up until about around this time or this morning I haven't really seen a lot but then saying that I did get back in the bag for a bit after that lost fish this session in particular less has definitely been more I've been watching what other people have been doing around the lake and there's been a lot of people spotting and they haven't really been putting many fish on the bank so uh, bags definitely seem to be the way to be naked bites at the minute and this lake is so different to the others on Unity, you can get away with spotting at them. Um, the amount of times I've had hits of fish on Unity, and the rods are going while you're spotting on them. I'm not saying that can't happen on here, but it definitely happens less. That for straight start this morning and suffering from a hook pull. 
not a lot happened really after that. Uh, this morning was definitely a lot quieter than previous mornings, but getting on for sort of early afternoon, the fish really did show up and they put on a proper display out there. They were head, shouldering, shooting up, fizzing up, bubbling, you name it, they were doing it. We just couldn't buy a bite. And it was really frustrating. Uh, but we're going into our last night now, so I'm hoping we'll be able to pick something up tonight, if not first thing tomorrow morning, before I have to make my way back to Belfast. Just gone four o'clock in the morning. We've managed to nick another bite. Twenty at eleven, and again just on the solid bags. Possibly the last fish of the session, but hopefully we'll nick one more. As always, got to start the morning off with a coffee. So after that one, we had early hours this morning. Nothing else has happened. The fish have stayed where they were. I uh, did manage to record it a little bit last night that was showing just before dark. And that was the area I, I dropped the solid bag onto, but it's just completely solid the weed over there. And you just, you couldn't percent on it. Uh, where I've been fishing has been as close to those areas as I can get. Um, where I've got a decent chance of making sure that I land every fish that I hook. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. We have dropped four, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, looking back on the session, would I have done anything different? Probably not. Speaking to the people that have been walking around the lake and currently on the lake, it's been fishing very difficult, like I've mentioned before. A lot of people seem to have only had one or two fish. So between the little go we had before Stan Lake Lagoon and returning after, I think, what did I have? I had five fish and lost one before Stan Lake, and then when we've came back here, I've had six and lost three, unfortunately. Um, so that's 11 fish and dropped four. So... Um, I'm happy with that to be honest and uh, not happy with dropping four obviously but and out of those 11 fish for gone standards you would expect one or two of those to be a couple of 30s but unfortunately that's just the way it goes uh, we did have that mid 30 uh, before what was that maybe four or five days ago and um, so that fish alone makes the trip and I'll definitely be going home happy but unfortunately that's going to be me for this year uh, I'll have to head back to Belfast this evening I've no more holidays left than work, so it'll probably be March time next year before I get to come back. So unless one of those rods go over, the sh over my shoulder, decide to go last minute, I think that 28 is probably going to be the last fish. A couple of hours to go. Uh, still getting liners in that middle rod. You see the rods are still out. All the gear is currently packed down, uh, net slings, mats are all drying out. And so if we do pick another fish up, I reckon it'll be that middle rod. Um, but I can't really complain, it's been a good year in the Syndicate. Um, I think I've done, well, I'll have to count, I'll check my notes and count everything up, but I'm probably somewhere between 70 to 80 fish in about 28 to 30 nights. I've had 830s, I think. Uh, 830s, 140, which is the big common from Gaunt's at 46.2, that was back in March. I'll maybe upload a few, put a few pictures up on that just so you can see what is in here. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. So if you've got this far, thanks very much for watching. And if you're out on the bank, I hope you have a few. <laughs>